Hello, and welcome, friends. The reason why the hockey card market is stable is because it's organic. There isn't a bunch of crazy attention on it from sneaker flippers or whoever else was digging into the basketball cards. There are fans, collectors, and yes, some investors as well, but for the most part, hockey cards are left alone. The market moves slower, and it's slower to react. That means there's more investing opportunities for you, not from a short-term, I'm going to buy it, get it, and then flip it immediately perspective, but from a mid to long-term perspective. Connor McDavid is essentially the LeBron James of hockey, and he's got a lot of cards out there that can be had for a reasonable price right now. And remember guys, these aren't cards that are just going to shoot up overnight. We're not looking for some sort of a playoff sensation. These are cards that are just going to steadily climb. It's like the tortoise. The tortoise? It's like the tortoise. Everybody likes it slow and steady. Oh. Slow and steady wins the race, guys, and that's what we're looking at. Connor McDavid's cards, especially his rookie cards, that are underpriced in the market. It's time for you to buy some hockey cards. First up is 2015 Fleer Metal. It's kind of a dark-looking card, and they are a little bit difficult to grade, given the black borders and everything. But nonetheless, you can have this card for around the $20 mark, and it's a good-looking Connor McDavid rookie card. Next up, we're looking at OPG Platinum. Platinum is essentially the top's chrome of hockey cards cards, and it's becoming more and more popular as time goes on. Hasn't been out for that many years, and people in the hockey market are just kind of getting used to something other than young guns. Now this card's going to run you about $40 to $50, but you can sometimes get a little bit cheaper at an auction, or if you get lucky with somebody just listing it. So hunt this one down, guys. This is a good one. Next up is 2015 SPX Stick Wizards. Anytime you can put a stick and a wizard together, you might be surrounded by hobbits. So be careful. It doesn't take the Lord of the Rings to know that this is a good pickup. I like the look of this card. It's got a cool design, and it even has Popeye in the background. Wouldn't it be better if Popeye ate gravy you know what i'm saying if you just pop open a can of <laughs> this spx rookie is a little bit on the rare side as it takes roughly eight boxes to get one of these cards which brings us to platinum and allure base cards and i'm suggesting that you pick up the colored variations the short prints the parallels the green taxi or whatever version you can find that isn't just base chrome if you want the silver version it's called rainbow you guys remember the rainbow ride that shit terrified me as a child which brings Brings us to my favorite pick, 2019 Upper Deck Credentials, which is a new hockey card set. It's about $136 a box, and they've inserted six Fleer Pro Visions cards. Now, I know you guys remember the Pro Visions cards. They were really cool looking. They're not worth too much, but they came out of the 1990s. Uh, they had like Bo Jackson and Mike Greenwell, if you guys remember that dude. Uh, basically, they had a bunch of different guys with the art cards, you know, just the painting or whatever else with the fire and brimstone and all this kind of insanity and nonsense well they brought that back and it was unannounced they didn't tell anybody about it and they're one in 120 packs with that math you're getting a connor mcdavid one in around 90 boxes that's going to take you about ten thousand dollars worth of product just to get one of these connor mcdavid inserts and they're good looking too it's got that like 80s vhs text at the bottom just a well put nice groove to it and then you've got Connor McDavid kind of wham slamming a puck with fire and flames more of that hellfire I think as time goes on and people realize how rare this card is not to mention it's a first year credential set and if that ends up being popular that could also increase the price of the cards there are a few nice base cards in credentials as well like some sort of a fractal like yeah, pretty interesting looking card people are looking for value they're looking for ways to make money on things that they enjoy well I'm trying to tell you guys nothing's better than taking a stick and chasing somebody around on ice with blades and you can just smash them into the boards and just punch them in the face if you don't like them imagine if a presidential election worked like that man biden was just like what the trump i don't or trump was just like i don't blah, blah, and he just bleed just orange everywhere just peels he just hit him with the ah, super peel you know what i'm saying like ryu in street fighter 2 he shoots out the fire ryu can what if trump just hit him with that orange peel Hi, orange at the end of the day, I'm simply saying, do yourselves a favor, give hockey cards a chance. You know what I'm saying? Much like we gotta give peace a chance, let's give hockey cards a chance. You know you listened to that Mariah Carey song on the radio and didn't change the station. 
So do yourself a favor and buy some hockey cards. If your face is sore from watching this video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and check out the links down below to our Patreon page and our eBay store. I appreciate your support, and I'll catch you on the flip side.